All right. Our next phase that we have here is the, whoops, hope it didn't move it. Wait a minute, let me do something here. I am sorry. Move this a little bit like, there we go, in the middle there. Now we're gonna paint the little figure. Okay, got my water, my brushes, and my paint. All right, let's go with a brown on our shoes. And I will use a smaller brush to get his shoes. Got his shoes painted, brown. Our next thing would be his, uh, let's, let's use a blue uh, to do his uh, like blue jeans. Oh, the wrong one. I wanted to use the bigger one. Okay, I want to use a little bit smaller, whoop, or took that smaller brush to, since this is a small figure, I want to be kind of careful with the, with the painting. bit more blue next thing would be our code of course now uh, 
I think a green would go nice on his coat. So, uh, and let's see, let me make sure I've got all that blue off there. is in here is kind of delicate. Sometimes you have to give it a, a, another little coat uh, if it's not quite green enough. That wouldn't be any problem. Okay, got his coat, green. I'm gonna use a little bit bigger brush here. I'll we'll hit that green one more time. Just a little bit bigger brush here on the, the back and stuff. Just get it a little bit greener. There we are. In these small carvings, you wanna be careful not, not use too big a brush because it's hard to get into small places. But the, it's great for kind of going over the, the areas where you don't have a lot of problems. All right, got it. Okay, now uh, his belt would be, I'm gonna go ahead and use the brown for his belt, both sides of his belt, and I'm gonna make the buckle a little gold color. Just hit the both sides of his belt a little bit with the brown. And come back with a little. Now, the tie. I wanna make him tie a little red tie. Uh, hit this time with this green because it's hard to get in these areas. I want to make sure that I've got into these areas before I do the tie. And then also the shirt that's underneath the tie, we've got to make that a certain color. So let's take the red here. It's not going to need a lot of, of, of so I'm going to come in between here and just hit that tie. Lightly. That tie. There it is. And uh, oh, there's an area right there. There it goes. And the, I'm just gonna use a dab of white or yellow. I think a little bit of yellow would be good for that shirt right underneath that tie. 
I'm not gonna use this. I'm gonna use my smaller brush. I'm just gonna dip it into that yellow. I've got just a little bit on the red. So I'll take my red and I'll hit it again. There we go, and there's a little yellow across there. It's really hard to see sometimes. It really is for my eyes it is. For your eyes it's probably not. Okay, now our next situation is how do we do the, uh, how do we do the hair? Now, we can do the hair white, we can do it brown, we can do it a blonde type color. Uh, but we want to, uh, let's see. Oh. Why don't we do it a white? I think that would look very good. I'm going to change my water because what happens uh, when you start on a white, the water is really, really dirty. Then you want to change your water so that it doesn't mix uh, with the dirty water. Every once in a while, you'll have to do that whenever you're doing your pieces. You change your water because the darker colors, of course, will make the water uh, uh, Really, all right, here's my white. I don't thin my white up as much as I do because I don't want it flowing. Uh, a lot of times the white will flow to extremes and get on the other stuff. So I try not to make my white as soupy because it, it actually, I don't want it to go like a wash. Uh, I want it to cover, not directly from the bottle, but uh, enough to uh, cover and still show the wood through it. Gonna have to have a little bit more. Usually with the white, you have to go twice. You have to do it twice. Very often do I ever get a chance to do the white, there it is, that's good, where I don't have to do it again. Uh, because the wood soaks up the white real, real, and of course, don't forget the sideburns. Because it soaks up uh, the wood, soaks it up pretty, pretty, pretty quick. So to get the full effect of the white, usually have to do it several times, at least twice, before it looks as good as it does. Some places take the white very well at first, and other places don't. That's why you usually have to go over it again. All right, we get our side burns here. Our side burns here, and of course, we want to go with our mustache in here. And in here go. 
All right, I tell you what we're gonna do. We're gonna end this tape, and we're gonna come back and we're gonna finish him up. Okay.